Hey everyone, I'm Ryan. You're watching 60 Cycle Hum, and I just got back from visiting JHS. I flew out to Kansas City and, uh, you know, did a live video with them out there, and I filmed six videos to do uh, my road case series with, so keep an eye out for those. But you might have noticed I've got this guitar case here. Um, Josh very generously extremely generously gave me a guitar not just a guitar a guitar that honestly is <laughs> like deep in my wheelhouse of stuff that i love and is also significant because it's a guitar that was special made for jhs and was featured you know at their nam boost and videos and things like that um I'm honestly blown away. Any anytime someone gives me a guitar, I'm blown away. Anytime someone gives me anything special, I'm blown away. And this is both. It's a guitar and it's special and it's like super high quality. You ready for the reveal? Look at this thing. That's a Ryan guitar right there. That just screams you know, what I love, the things that I like in a guitar. It's offset, but then a unique shape. It's got a full mastery setup, mastery ridge, mastery uh, vibrato here. The pickups, they're humbuckers, not usually my thing, but they don't have any pull pieces. They're like big Firebird pickups where there's no pull pieces on them. They're slick and reflective like mirrors. Really neat acrylic white back painted pit guard. It's red with a white and black stripe around the outside edge of it. It almost looks like, you know, like a vinyl seat in a fast food restaurant. Like you could put, you know, a McDonald's logo on here and it would work. Or, you know, me personally, I'd put an in and out <laughs> sticker on here. Right there on the pit guard, maybe just the uh, little in and out arrow just to tease Josh because he's not a fan of in and out, which is fine. But yeah. Let, let me get the case out of the way and get the wiggle stick out. This is, by the way, the guitar that I was playing in the Spring Reverb video that I did with uh, with Josh and the whole JHS crew while I was out there. And Josh had just given this to me probably half an hour before we started filming that. So in that video, I was fresh off the high of being handed this guitar and him being like, oh, hey, this is for you. This is yours now. Take this home. I've been playing it <laughs> around the house. Uh, today is Monday since coming back Thursday. And I haven't had a bad time yet. <laughs> by the way, I haven't even mentioned it yet. This guitar was built by Revelator Guitars. That's going to be out of focus, but there's the headstock. Uh, the pickups are by Righteous Sound. I've got the uh, the details. I messaged them to ask for the uh, the specs on the pickups. They're the Bethel Humbucker set from Righteous Sound pickups. El Nico 4 magnets, vintage wire, PAF design. Redid the garage a bit so all my settings are still a bit off. Let's do some of my more normal signal path here. I'm going to throw some reverb from the Melkman F-Stop, a little bit of drive from the 5050. <laughs> some drives.
Ah, man. I just got carried away <laughs> for a good 20 minutes or so. I'll, I'll cut out most of the nonsense and just leave in the best bits. But this guitar is just too much fun. I mean, besides being a looker, which it absolutely is, it has this wonderfully kind of like tastefully full neck feel to it. It's got that like approaching baseball bat kind of feel to the neck without going all the way into just being like, oh wow, that's, that's a fat neck, but it's full. Very comfortable for my large hand. Maybe that's what they were going for with because you know, Josh is a tall guy. He's got big hands. Maybe he wanted, you know, something that would fill his hand really nicely. I could see that being the case. Interestingly, uh, as far as I can tell anyways, uh, this guitar shape, this guitar style, is the one shape from Revelator Guitars that isn't like a full like Fender sort of copy. They typically tend to do these Telecaster, you know, Jazzmaster, Hyper Relic kind of takes. And this is pretty different from what I've seen from them based on like their Instagram account and their website and stuff. I think it's really unique. Revelator Guitars. More unique body styles, please. More unique takes on stuff. I know, I'm sure that the Relic stuff sells the best, but I'm really enjoying just looking at this thing, playing it. It's a fun concept. The name of the, uh, the model is the Supertone. It's interesting. There was a, uh, a Christian ska band called the Supertones, and there was also a, uh, a 60s surf rock band called the Supertones. The ska band had to call themselves the OC Supertones <laughs> because the surf band existed. I wonder which one this is named after. I'm gonna think it's named after the, uh, the surf band. Let's do some fuzz. I'm gonna use the Ramble Effects Twin Bender, the unprofessional Mark II. something a little bit more mellow now, a little bit more jazzy. Get that fuzz off. I started to second guess myself there a bit towards the end, but I found it. I found the X-Men theme and I did it kind of jazzy.
more fun than is necessary right now. Um, but man, I'm just too stoked. You know this thing is going to make it into all kinds of videos. An offset with humbuckers? When I need humbuckers, <laughs> there's a good chance I'm going to be grabbing this guitar. There just is. There's so much I like about it. Let me go through the list of everything that I like about it and then you know, we'll wrap this up so we can go do other things with our lives. I love the look. I love the body shape. I love that it's, you know, a slightly unique shape. They've taken the Fender offset sort of concept and pushed it into a new direction. I love the finish. The just bright, like, Lego red thing going on with the black and white stripe on the edge. Like I said earlier, it reminds me of like, you know, a vinyl diner seat. A vinyl diner booth. There's even, you know, you, you probably can't see it. This is just for the person holding it. There is a slight, like, silver metal flake. A very fine metal flake going on in the finish. Even in the black and the white on the edge. I'll do a close-up photo to show that off. Up close, it's just, it just shimmers. It's this iridescence mixed in with the red. I love the neck shape. The way it fills my hand. Very, very comfortable. The fretwork is wonderful on it. This is, this is a high-end guitar <laughs> that Josh just handed to me. I'm like, hey, hey, thanks for visiting. Here's a guitar. I know you'll use it. Ridiculous. Just ridiculous. I even like the headstock. A slightly kind of like narrowed bulb version of the classic Fender headstock. It's got the split top tuners on here, which I'm on record. Uh, of loving. I love split top tuners just because it means like if I need to get into here to mess with anything, I can pull the strings off and I can pop them back on again without having to sacrifice the strings to do, you know, slight guitar work and stuff like that. And they're totally stable and, and wonderful style of tuners. The mastery. You know, you know, I'm a wiggle stick boy. I haven't had a full mastery set up before. I actually don't have a mastery bridge on a guitar right now because I sold that Squire Vintage Modified. So to have the bridge and the tailpiece is giving me, you know, experience with a popular and common piece of gear that's out there right now that's, you know, <laughs> it has something to do with my interests as far as guitars go. Needing to know how these mastery vibratos work, how they compare to other styles of vibratos in the same style. These knobs, I love the knobs. I, I think they might be like a custom knob for this guitar. Cause I've never seen this, this knob style before. It looks like a custom turned like chunk of acrylic or plexi or something like that. The pick guard, I mean, I love everything about this guitar. I'm just over the moon about it, but the clear plastic acrylic pick guard, this back painted white, that look always has like a special sort of thing going on with it. Even the pickups, just the look of those pickups. I love the look without pole pieces. It's so classy. It's just a little bit different. They're clean. They're mirror like they sound great to me. You know, they're not a surfy style pickup, which is fine. Not every guitar I own needs to sound surfy, but they're, they're great sounding humbuckers. Ridiculous, just absolutely ridiculous. There's a little bit of a flame in the neck. I'll try to photograph that. It's just beautiful. Serial number 68, so close. <laughs> oh man. What do I even say? Thank you, Josh. I already said it in person over and over and over again, but thank you, Josh, for gifting me this ridiculous guitar. Thank you to Josh and the whole JHS crew for hosting me out there for two days. I'm looking forward to publishing all the content that I filmed out there. The reverb shootout that we did, the live video. I haven't had that much fun in a long time. 
I, you know, I wasn't able to sleep the night after that. I literally, I think I only got like two and a half hours of sleep after that live video because I was, I was just so pumped. I was so excited. Um, I was going through and rewatching the video, reading everyone's live comments and stuff. And what a, what a wonderful experience. I had apprehensions leading up to it. I was nervous about flying. I mean, I'm going to be quarantined here at home for the next two weeks to see if I caught a bug or anything like that. Um, but I'm glad that I did it. Watch, two weeks from now I'll be dead. That'll be sad. Um, but right now, as I'm feeling right now sitting here, I'm so glad that I got on a plane and I went and did the thing that Josh and I have honestly been talking about for a long time, going out there and filming content and hanging out. And man, did not expect to walk away with this fantastic guitar. I'll say that. So once again, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Thanks to everyone watching this right now. Um, even if you're angry and bitter at me for whatever reason, uh, I want to read those rude and nasty comments down below. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, dislike, leave me rude and nasty comments. Getting redundant here. My, my brain is scrambled by this, guys. Uh, buy a t-shirt if you're naked. Support us on Patreon. Go check out the uh, the video that I did with JHS, the, the reverb shootout. It was, it was too much fun. And you know what? Stay grounded. Bye, everybody.